In, in this video I will describe how to process an order from start to finish. So once an order comes in, you go into Sales Orders, locate the order that needs to be processed. This will be based on the status. Some will say Pending, some will say Processing. Depends on your settings and the Payment Gateway. If the order says Pending Payment, do not pro do not invoice the order. It means that the order has not been paid for. The customer had clicked submit order, and then just did not enter their payment and navigate away from the store. This can occur with certain PayPal payment gateways as well as some other payment gateways that are require payments to be entered after clicking submit order. So if it says pending payment, it means the order has not been paid and you should therefore not process it. You can either cancel it, contact the customer and get their payment information to complete that order. In any case, once you once the order has been submitted, you click on the order. Verify all the information and click invoice. This must be done from the Magento admin and not from your your payment gateway. If you do it from your payment gateway you will then need to invoice the order offline and any refunds you do will then have to be done from your payment gateway if you do if you capture the funds from the payment gateway. So you click invoice and the invoice information will appear. Again, verify all the information. If there's more than one item, you can invoice them in sections. If let's say an order is not a product is not yet available, you can invoice everything but that item. This may be limited by the payment gateway, it depends on the payment gateway. Some Payment gateways may not provide this option. If it does, you would basically edit the quantity for the amount that's being invoiced. In this case, there's only one item, so there's no editing. Capture online. You can select capture offline if you've already captured the funds in your payment gateway. Otherwise, do capture online, and Magento Go will instruct your payment gateway to actually capture and transfer the funds. If all the information here is correct, then all you'll need to do is click Submit Invoice. The invoice will have been created. Magento Go will inform your payment gateway to capture the amount and you can then go to your payment gateway to verify this. These are subtle transactions, that's not it. This is, again, based on your payment gateway, you would want to then locate the order. This is per day, so this is from a previous date. But once you know, once you verify that the funds have been transferred, again, this is dependent on your payment gateway. Once you verify that the order has been, the funds have been transferred, you go to sales orders, and again, go to the order. And click ship. This will then generate the packing slip for your order and change the status to complete. Now when creating the packing slip you can add a tracking number 
or if your shipping option allows for a shipping label, you will then have the option to generate the shipping label here and at the same time that you generate the packing slip. Once added, once you've added all your information, if you're adding a tracking number, if you don't, you can also add this later. Click Submit Shipment. I mean, again, if you have more than one items, you can specify which items are shipped at, one t at what time. If, for example, an item is not ready to be shipped, you don't have it, you would then remove it and then create a new shipping, a new shipment later for the remaining items. If everything is correct, you click Submit Shipment. So as you will see in the order, the status is now complete. From the order view, you can then go and you see the invoices. If you have, if you've generated multiple invoices, you'll have a list of the invoices. If you have shipments, more than one shipment, you'll have a list of the shipments, and you can click on the shipment to view it directly. If you generate, if you create any refunds, this will be done via the credit memo, and I will provide a separate, and there's a separate video on how to create refunds. And this is basically how you are to process an order once it comes in. And you can see the status is now completed.